Welcome back to Swamp Chook Overland. I'm Sam and in this video I'm on an overlanding adventure in the South Island in my modified Subaru Outback. After a short break at the Tailings Hut I'm making my way west along the stunning Ida Range towards Home Hills Runs Road. Ah, I see. The hut's just down there where we can't see it, but that other track that goes up there is another drivable four-wheel drive track. Wow. One you're allowed on. And it goes up to another hut. This is incredible. This has got to be one of the, my favorite tracks so far. It's just something special. Just wound down through those rocks there. Uh, but yeah, now we have to zigzag our way down to the bottom of there and um, back up there. Oh well that bit was rather hair raising, um, <laughs> it was actually kind of scary, look at, I don't know if you can see it, but look at the angle it's on, like it's, 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 mm. God I'm glad I wasn't in something big and top heavy, that would have been quite scary, well it was scary enough, my goodness, this is quite an interesting track, another river crossing down there.
<laughs> well, that was a heck of a climb up to here. Um, there's a bit of rain, I think. It looks like rain, or otherwise it's just some dark clouds, but it's um, making me a little bit nervous. Um, so I'm going to do some carrying on, but... <laughs> yeah, that sky looks a bit scary. One thing that strikes me about this place, and it's pretty hard to portray on video without being too long and boring, is just the immensity of it. There's so much open space up here, and the tracks just go on for ages. I really enjoy it. I know it doesn't really compare to any of the big long tracks in Aussie or the States, but I'm just really enjoying being able to drive for hours and not see hardly any sign of human habitation. It's fantastic. So this is the Mount Ida hut, um, but it used to be the Ida Valley Railway Station, and it's been carted up here, um, along with those ta that tailings hut, I think, were, must have been railway cabins or something as well, but huh, let's go have a look inside. Neat. Wonderful old range. Fantastic, you don't see those very often. And um, the bunk room. <laughs> Still got its light bulbs, or well, one of them anyway. And what's through here? Oh. oh, another kitchen. <laughs> what? It's heated by the range. That's cool. I was going to go all the way through today, but I've decided I'm going to stop here for the night. Um, it's pretty tiring doing these tracks. God, they're rough. Um, fun though, exactly what I was after, but the weather looks like it's going to 
pack in but I did a weather forecast on the inreach and apparently it's only going to rain or there's only a chance of rain for the next hour and then overnight and tomorrow is clear so I don't think the track will be too bad um, it's pretty rocky so I think it would take a lot of like there's boggy sections but it would take a lot of water to soften those up so it'll just be slick on the top of anything but no, I think hopefully the forecast is right and tomorrow it'll be fine. But yeah, I think this is me for tonight. Great spot. So I've done it for now. Well, it's, it's searched it for here. So if I go into Wednesday, it gives me a breakdown by the hour. Oh, it's just changed. It was a 50%. What? Hang on. Oh yeah, it's 50% chance for the day. It's 10% chance it'll rain between oh, 6 p.m., 8 p.m., zero, and it's just, yeah, zero percent all the way through into tomorrow. So, um, yeah. If the tracks are wet, I'll just sit up somewhere and wait for it to dry up a little bit. I've had dinner, I've um, backed up the memory cards, well, backed up the footage and cleared the memory cards because they were getting full. Um, and it's really cold, so I've got a fire going in the range just to warm the place up and I boil some water to do the dishes. Um, oh, this is just fun. Well, it's about half past eight at night and it seems like that inreach weather report was pretty accurate. The weather has begun to clear off and we've got blue skies again, so fantastic. Well thanks again for watching, I'll see you next time. In the next video I make my way back out to the road, however the morning has a bit of a surprise in store for me.